We have two glasses of water. One with tap water and one with purified RO water. For measuring the TDS level of the water samples that we have here, we will need a digital TDS meter. For today's video we'll be using a digital TDS meter from a brand called Wellon. We bought this from Amazon for just rupees 250. You'll find a lot of TDS testers online with absolutely same design and features. All these are Chinese products and Indian importers have just put their brand marks on them. We have provided the Amazon link of this TDS tester in the video description. Have a look at this picture. This picture shows all the parts and functions of the digital TDS meter. The TDS meter features three buttons, on off, temperature, and hold. The on off button is used for turning it on or off. The temperature button is used for measuring the room or liquid temperature and to change between temperature and TDS mode. The hold button is used for holding the reading after a measurement. Hello everyone, this is PureFi and today we will demonstrate how you can easily check the TDS level of water at your home. But before moving ahead we would like to request you to please subscribe to our channel if you are getting value and if we are able to provide quality content. Your love and appreciation keep us motivated for creating such useful content. Let's first test the TDS level of the tap water. The tap water supply that we have at our home is groundwater or borewell water. So naturally, the TDS level would be a little higher as compared to the municipal tap water. Let's turn on the TDS meter and take our first reading. When you turn it on, the display will show the zero reading. Now, immerse the TDS meter till the maximum level. Wait for the reading to stabilize. Once the reading stabilizes, press the hold button. So, the reading does not disappear when you take the TDS meter out of the water, and you have sufficient time to note it down. The TDS level is measured in ppm, that is parts per million, or milligram per liter. As you can see the meter shows the reading as 101. If you look carefully, you will also see X10 written in a small font just in front of the reading. That means you have to multiply the reading by 10. If the measured TDS level is greater than 999, then this X10 symbol will appear. So, that means the actual TDS level of the tap water is 1010 ppm. That's quite high, considering the fact that it is bore well water, we knew the TDS level would be high. But frankly speaking, we are a little surprised to see such a high reading. We expected the water supply TDS should be around 600 to 700 ppm. This water is definitely not fit for drinking. For water with TDS level higher than 500, you need an RO purifier. Now let's measure the TDS level of the RO purified water. But before you do, shake off the excess water from your meter. This is done to make sure that no water droplets remain from the previous test. Deep the TDS meter till the maximum level and wait for the reading to stabilize. The reading is stabilized now, let's press the hold button and take it out of the water sample. As you can see here, the TDS value of the RO water sample is 41 ppm. That means our RO purifier has done quite a good job of purifying unsafe and high TDS water into safe drinking water. We are using the Purit Copper Plus water purifier. Shake off all the water droplets before placing the protective cap on. This keeps the electrodes safe, prevents corrosion, and ensures that your TDS tester works effectively for a longer period. That's all for today. We hope you will find today's video very useful. And you are now ready to measure the TDS level of the water at your home. If you have more questions around the TDS level then we request you to please check out our detailed blog post. For your ease, we provided the link for the same in the video description below. It answers all queries like what is TDS level, why do you need to check it, what is the ideal TDS of drinking water, and how to reduce the TDS level of water. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.